And Zara, will you take us through what those figures tell us? Yes, good evening, Colette. Well, I suppose, look, this may come as no surprise to people in a sense that we had heard from the HSC last month at a briefing in Dr. Stevens Hospital at their headquarters that, look, they had seen really high levels of people coming through emergency departments. And one of the things they said uh, was an issue was the flow through the hospital, that that was uh, clogging up the system, that getting patients through and into beds and discharged was a really big part of this issue. Also, people presenting with various different ailments. You can take a look at a breakdown of the figures of the worst affected hospitals uh, within these figures today from the INMO. So University Hospital Limerick with 1,590. 96, Cork University Hospital at 1,334 and then Letterkenny University Hospital at 1,108. So, I mean, people watching the news this evening will say we hear uh, record-breaking figures all the time, the worst on record. And as uh, Tony Fitzpatrick from the Irish Nurses and Midwives Organisation says this evening, people are sick of this data analysis. They want to see action. I think this, the real scenario here is that you know, our members who work within these emergency departments, the patients that attend these emergency departments are sick and tired of people analysing uh, the numbers, uh, talking about the numbers, and what they really want is real action at this stage to address the problem of overcrowding within our emergency departments because it's having, for some patients, it's having a lethal effect upon them, um, but for others, um, it's having a dramatic impact upon um, their health and safety and well-being. And it's now causing um, significant problems for our members working within emergency departments. But Colette, we have to remember that behind every single uh, number and statistic here is a person who has gone into hospital, who is sitting, who is unwell and who is waiting. And the reality of that, as I say, is borne out in this figure as it came up in the doll this afternoon. Pets currently are seen quicker in this, country's, in this country by vets than patients are in A&Es throughout the state. Now, last year, 75,000 people left A&E departments in this country without being seen or treated. So, a &E's are such a disaster zone in these places that seriously ill people, seriously injured people, went to a &E's, they waited for hours, and then in their thousands left without being treated whatsoever. Well, Colette, the Taoiseach responded to Father Tobin in the Dáil this afternoon. He said, look, there's evidence that's overwhelming that shows the last two decades in the Irish Health Service, it has increased its survival rates in terms of the, all of the main issues, including uh, cancer and cardiac issues. But uh, Michael Martin also went on to say, Colette, that we need to be careful and balanced in our description and analysis of the health system. The Taoiseach saying today that there are certainly challenges. He recognises that, but he says the suggestion that the health system is killing people is a dangerous one and it is frankly wrong.